all the good girls go to hell. So if you're a good girl, then you are f I'm gonna kind of be breaking the song up, but looking at it kind of from a music production perspective. So if you already heard the song, cool. You're about to learn more about the song. My Lucifer is lonely. All right, uh, yeah, so right off the bat, she starts off with this very light falsetto voice, you know what I mean? But underneath it is this growly, demonic, distorted type of voice of hers. I don't know if she re recorded another vocal underneath that main light vocal that you hear, but there's, there, there's like a weird chemistry between those two vocals there, but that's pretty cool, that's pretty unique. And then you just get that reverse, what might have been a, uh, probably a reverse piano note, just boom, 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 It sounds like it has like a West Coast type of vibe a little bit. Some clean electric bass in there, just piano notes just going in eighth notes. That's like, that, that's very West Coast actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yo, her, man, this is one of the brighter productions I've heard actually from Billy in a while. I haven't heard like a ton of songs from Billy Eilish. I've heard like, uh, See Me in a Crown. I heard, I heard Bad Guy, songs like that. And a lot of them have very muffled production. And then her voice is just really just like the brightness of the song, I would say. But this one sounds like really, this one sounds kind of upbeat a little bit. What's cool, it's a nice change of pace. At least from what I've, from what I've heard. I'm, you know, if she has put out other songs of like brighter production, then cool. Uh, I haven't heard it, but. <laughs> but she's unique. She has coined her own style. She's done it. The hardest thing for an artist to do. She's done it, so yeah. And I like the, I like the hi-hats, the little percussion elements in this song. It's, it's weird, but it has like trap elements wrapped into this old school sound and beat. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, she's like talking in the harmonies underneath. All the good girls go to hell. Cause even got herself. Alright, there's that very minimal. There's that very minimal production I was talking about where it sounds kind of muffled out. They took out all the bright elements, all the guitars, all the pianos, gone for this part here in the hook. Anything with sub frequencies, anything with low frequencies, anything that's bass oriented is what gets to stay here. And then there's like light kind of keyboard or something in the background just going dong, dong. Uh, I, I don't remember what the actual notes are, what the key was, but that's all you get there. The main focus is on that phrase. And it makes sense, like that's a really, you know, that could be an iconic phrase right there. All the good girls go to hell. It's so out there that it makes sense that they wanted to stand on its own for this part of the song. You know what I mean? Some muted guitars, some pianos, reverse. Oh, this is super duper West Coast. <laughs> That synth right there, that weird, but that's that West Coast synthesizer right there. So that that just that just solidified it. Stamp it, solidified West Coast. Ship it off. Look at you needing me. You know I'm not your friend without some green. Now you hear that bass really strong in the mix there. Peter should know better. Your cover up. Oh my god, the vocal effects on her voice are just crazy and so so unsettling <laughs> they put like this weird effect on the harmony underneath her voice and it's really i've never heard it before but here's the thing about billy that when i was like hearing about all this hype about her i was like oh this is gonna be like incredible vocals like she's gonna go off like this is gonna be like dynamic it's because people are hyping it up so much she must sing like crazy that's not really her style she sings a very calm 
She's almost like whispering while singing. But at the same time, she has incredible voice control to sing that whispery. Sorry, I'm not I'm not classically trained in the, the vocal arts. But I would say her control over singing in a style that requires so much air, that's hard to do. Singing in the style the way she does and like doing those little crispy runs with her vocals and like makes her vocals like tremble a little bit. Like that's, that's hard to do what she's doing. And I don't know if that's something you could teach. That might just be her natural style about herself singing. And that might be where the, uh, the wonderful thing called talent comes in. It's caving in. Man is such a fool. Why are we saving him? Poisoning themselves now. Begging for our help. Wow. Husband in California. My turn to ignore you. Don't say. It's funny you should mention California and talking about the West Coast. All the good girls go to hell. Oh, you can hear those harmonies. Oh, what's that? Hold on. What's that? go to hell. You heard one ad lib on this side saying, All the good girls go to hell. And then on the right side, I'm by herself. Like that that's pretty cool. How they did like the ping pong and the panning right there. Making one vocal come out the left side, then one come out the right side. I I, I see what you're doing. She's trying to make it sound like you can hear voices, like voices are talking to you on different sides. Like that's pretty uh pretty scary. Oh, I love that part. That that part is crazy right there. And it, when I first heard that, that 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 kind of like uh, it took the song to another level, and it really brought some real. The song already had character, but it kind of brought it to a different level right there. Once that part came in, and these visuals, by the way, are kind of crazy. I mean, her wings are on fire. She's just trying. She's just trying to walk. She's just trying to live her life. I mean, she just came to Earth. First thing you gotta do when you come to Earth, get a job. Ooh, big bright stacked up vocals there. Hmm. I really love that bass there, man. That bass line is, it's so clean, but it still has like, it still has attitude to it, you know what I mean? And I think that kind of matches well with, you know, Billy's style and everything like that. This girl creeps me the hell out. All right, guys, so just remember what Billy said, you know? If you get good grades and you do nice things for people and all things of that nature, you're gonna burn in hell. 